हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स आई होप दैट यू ऑल आर हैप्पी सेफ एंड हेल्दी एट योर होम्स एंड डूइंग योर वर्क एज वेल स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल डू आर लास्ट एक्सरसाइज 2.3 ऑफ आर चैप्टर 2 दैट इज होल नंबर्स इन आर प्रीवियस टॉपिक वी हैव डन आर एक्सरसाइज 2.2 आई होप स्टूडेंट्स दैट यू ऑल अंडरस्टूड इट वेरी वेल so let's start our last exercise 2.3 so here we have question number one which of the following will not represent zero a part 1 plus 0 b part 0 into 0 c part 0 divided by 2 and the d part 10 minus 10 divided by 2 students you have to say that among these option which option will not represent zero so we can solve one by one each and every part see let's start with a part if we'll do one plus zero then we'll get yes one as an answer so it means this equation will not represent zero now coming to b part zero multiply by zero yes we'll get answer as a zero so this equation will represent zero now c part zero divided by two if we divide zero with two then we'll get zero as the answer so in this equation also we'll get zero now the last part we have 10 minus 10 divided by zero yes students when we'll do 10 minus 10 we'll get 0 now 0 divided by 0 again we'll get 0 as the answer so it means this equation will also represent 0 so this is all about our first question now coming to our second question now we have second question if the product of two whole numbers is 0 can we say that one or both of them will be zero justify it through an example students in this question is asking if the product as you know student product means when we multiply any two numbers the answer will get that answer is called product right students so in this question is asking if we we'll multiply any two whole numbers now whole numbers any two whole number means any number see as you know whole number means from the zero till infinity any number we have that is called whole number only right so if we multiply any two whole numbers always will get zero as a product so we have to tell among these two numbers either one of the number will be zero or both of the number will be zero so these both condition will justify with the help of one example so let's take first condition if product of two whole number is zero definitely one of them is zero Yes, students, this property of multiplication which is called multiplicative property of zero. It means when we multiply any number, any smallest number, any biggest number with zero, then as a product we always get zero. Yes, so it means this condition is true that if product of two whole number is zero, definitely one of them is zero so let's take one example zero multiply two yes we get zero and zero multiply hundred we get zero fine students now let's take second condition if product of two whole number is zero then both of them may be zero yes students it is also possible then if product is 0 so both of the number will be 0 it means multiplicand and multiplier both of them can be 0 for example 0 multiply 0 yes is equal to 0 so we get the conclusion yes if the product of two whole number is 0 then both of them will be 0 now the last question of this exercise it's very simple that we already done in exercise 2.2 
find using distributive property so i hope student using the distributive property you better understand and using this property you can able to solve an equation but for you again i am going to do again i am recapitulating this property in front of you all so in this question we have five parts let's take first part 728 into 101 so we will segregate we will separate out this 101 into 100 plus 1 this will remain in the bracket now we will multiply both the numbers with 728 so 728 into 100 plus 728 into 1 when solve this multiplication we will get 72800 plus 728 ones are 728 when you add both the terms we will get 73528 yes students now take one more example 824 into 25 now we we'll separate out 25 into 20 plus 5 then afterwards we multiply it with 824 824 into 20 plus 824 into 5 we multiply 824 into 20 is a 16480 plus 824 into 5 is a 4120 when we'll add both the terms we'll get 20600 yes students so this is all about our properties and among these all properties this distributive property is very important so i hope students that you all are understood about these all properties and you are able to solve now all the equations related to that very easily so this is all about our second chapter whole numbers students I'll give you at last few question as a homework among all the exercises like access 2.1, 2.2 and 2.3 and as a revision worksheet so you just solve it out in your notebooks very nicely and in a very neat and clean manner till then thank you bye bye and take care stay home and stay safe